Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about charge point ticket symbol CHPT. So this is a stock that we've covered here on the channel. I've gone through this cover charge point as a company. I've covered charge point as my top um, uh, charging company. And also I've covered charge point as one of the companies that you should be looking into as uh, the Biden administration make their move towards electrifying America. So again, charge point has been making some moves and positioning themselves to be a leader in that space. So that's what I want us to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to charge point, guys, uh, again, like I said, I've actually covered this, give you guys my perspective on it. If we see where everything is shifting towards, it's shifting towards electric vehicles. And for electric vehicles to successfully operate, they need a bunch of charging stations, a network of charging stations. So not just one company is gonna be able to uh, provide all these charging stations, it's gonna be a network. If you look at gas stations, there's multiple companies. I mean, they're talking about hundreds of companies Companies that have different gas stations across the country. So ex expect the exact same thing with charging station. We see Tesla, um, we see Bling, we see EVgo, we see uh, EVbox, we see ChargePoint. All these companies are working to try to electrify America. And also there's some other players that are not really putting them, their, their face out there yet, but they are coming. So um, I see ChargePoint as one of the companies that is positioning themselves to really be uh, in that space and have uh, their face so that when we talk about electric vehicle charging station, you want to mention charge point. So let's kind of jump in and take a look. And I'm going to give you guys uh, some of the reasons why I think that um, charge point is actually headed in the direction that it's going. So charge point is a company that provides um, a charging station for different vehicles, different companies. And what they do is they put these charging stations in different locations. They could put it at your business location. They could put it at maybe like your apartment complex, at a sporting um, a stadium, or whichever locations that you can find, even like your shopping mall, or whatever. And then people charge their vehicles for a fee. So when you're shopping, your vehicle is charging, you just come back, unplug it, and then you drive and you go. So there's no need for you to stop at charging station. Uh, the reason why I'm actually covering this is because um, there is this news of um, you know, charge point making some moves. They just bought this um, uh, Volkswagen backed charging software firm for 295 million. So again, you can see that they are expanding. They, they're trying to build their network, bring in all the technology that would help them uh, move forward in this space and establish as a player. So when I see them establishing and making moves like this, that gets me excited. So that's why I want to make sure that you guys are also aware of it. So if we just go back here and look at the, ch the chart here for charge point, this is six months. Let's go back today. So just today alone, I'm doing this video. They are up or close to about 6%. But again, this is where I want to show you guys so you can see because charge point has been one of my best swing uh, uh, stock. Let me show you why I think that has been the case. So let's go back here six months. Look at where charge point was um, back in January. It trading all, all the way up there at about $40 and some change. And then uh, in March, we had that pullback. It, this thing came down all the way to about $20 in March, about March 20 feet. And then look at that. Let's pull up all the way to 31 and then pull back down again here if, if i can get there um this is april 20th pull back up to 26 pull down again back here to 20 that's may 13 and then squeeze all the way up to a high of 35 almost 36 dollars that is june 29 before pulling back again down to 22 just uh june uh, july 16. and then now it's trying to curve back up so and in, in this case, so if we follow this pattern that is, we, this graph has been giving us, I anticipate this thing moving up all the way back to testing 28, 29, even as far as testing 30. So if you if we can catch it here and ride it all the way to 30, that is a five dollar spread. That's why I love charge point as a swing trade. They have been so kind to me. So I do like the stock. So you can play this in one or two ways. So you can either play 
uh, here that you're buying to swing it because um, under around $20, that is an excellent spot to buy long term. But if you're just swinging, yeah, from to around 25 to 30, that's not a bad place. You can definitely swing there uh, and make some profit. So if you think close back up again all the way to 30, like we've seen here, you take profit. And then hopefully that we don't get another pullback. If we get another pullback, you rinse and repeat. That's just the basic strategy there, guys. But I want to caution you for uh, one important thing. There's some news that came out uh, just recently. As you can see here, Elon Musk actually confirmed that they're going to open up their supercharge, their supercharger um, network to other cars this year. So um, it's not just going to be uh, dedicated to Tesla vehicles. If you have another uh, vehicle, let's say you have a GMC or a Ford uh, Lightning truck, you can charge it at a Tesla supercharger station. So that's something that you want to be aware of because if Tesla is not opening up to other companies, it brings in competition. But guess what? Competition is good for business. In this case, it would be let the best company win. And so Tesla has, I mean, they have the, the, the reputation, um, they, build, they build good technology. And so I want to see that uh, ChargePoint is going to also step up and do it and be in that space. So again, this is just a caution. I don't think it's going to really impact the, the price of ChargePoint or Bling that much, but just something that you, you want to be aware of. So again, um, just a quick recap here. ChargePoint is one of the, the companies that are really establishing themselves as uh, you know the future of charging stations in America. And so far, they've been making the moves, acquiring other companies, expanding their, their technology, um, expanding their footprint so that people become aware of them. So I, I want you to have this, if you don't already, put it in the back of your mind. If you don't want to buy it long term, at least take advantage of the dips here and swing um, this particular stock. So again, the reason why is because we look at the charts here has been giving us opportunities to swing uh, over and over again. Each time this thing comes down to around 20, 20, 21, 22, it bounces right off and squeeze up all the way to 30 and then pull back, bounce and squeeze. That's just the way it's been working. Again, I'm not guaranteeing you that you're gonna go in, it's gonna work exactly the same, but I'm showing you guys why I've been able to take profit off of this continuously swing trading um, charge point. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. So again, guys, if the, if you're not in charge point and you're looking to get in, I would say if, if this thing comes back to under to 20 or under 20, definitely a place to buy and hold long term. But if you're just looking to swing trade, each time it comes down under 25, it's usually a good spot. You pick it there, ride it all the way to 30, and then you, you get out. So that would be uh, something that you definitely want to uh, keep in mind. Charge point has the possibility of uh, running all the way to 30, 35, but I want you to be cautious. When you go in trades, like especially if you're swing trading this, I want you to have a stop loss, not just swing trade because you want to swing trade decide say if i go into this trade i put in my order and if charge point pulls back how much are you willing to lose are you willing to lose 50 cents per share are you willing to lose a dollar per share um to make five or six dollars you have to do that and be comfortable with it and you put that stop loss so that if it hits it you see you, you can still get back in and buy the bottom instead of sitting in there and watch it go all the way down and you're sitting in the red you cannot use that liquidity to do any other thing because it's trapped in that trade uh, until it goes back up before you can sell it and then the next thing you know you're holding it back for longer than you heard anticipated so always make sure that when you go into a string trade you know when to cut your losses and get out and so they can reuse that liquidity and buy even the bottom if it if it's another bottom you can buy that and keep you going so that's it for this video guys again let me know in the comment section what you think about this do you currently have charge point in your portfolio have you been swinging charge point what's your strategy what do you think about charge point and tesla right now getting into the space where they're opening up their charger their supercharger network to every uh car manufacturer again let me know um, in the comment section if you're new to the channel guys we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stocks 
Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.